everybody, it's Dr. Michelle Drake, and I'm here today to talk to you about something that's very concerning to a lot of dog and some cat owners, is it having an itchy pet at home? And Nicole's here to ask me some questions that a lot of you have concerning these issues. Dr. Drake, why is my pet so itchy? So, um, you know, we see a lot of itchy dogs and some itchy cats. Um, so there's, what we need to do is we need to get to the root of the cause. And sometimes it's super obvious and obviously the most uh, common and obvious one would be uh, fleas. If your dog or cat has fleas, it is gonna make like them itch. And so we need to get that uh, taken care of first to determine is there something else going on in addition. So some dogs have allergies and then, oh, by the way, they got fleas. Um, so we're gonna wanna get rid of the fleas first, see how they're doing and then decide whether or not we need to do more care. Um, so I would say the vast majority of dogs that have like kind of chronic itching or foot licking I have two dogs that are, have allergies at home. Um, they're both foot lickers and uh, we need to get to what are the secondary infections that they may have in addition to the allergies, but then also start working on the allergy issues too. How can my vet determine why my pet is itchy? Yeah, so um, obviously we're gonna rule out uh, parasites, fleas and ticks first, um, and mites are certain mites that can cause a lot of itch. Um, you've all heard of Demodex or mange, uh, those things are super itchy also. Uh, so we're gonna make sure those things are not part of it. We're gonna treat for those first, and then we're gonna go on to looking at uh, the length of the the length of the itching. Um, so we're gonna talk to you a lot. We're gonna get information from you because your dog or cat is not gonna really share much with us. Um, but we wanna know things about how from the itching, one of the itching, um, and then, you know, unfortunately there's so much information that food allergy is such a big thing. If you go to a pet store, they're all gonna tell you it's food, it's chicken, it's beef, it's whatever. And really um, food can be a component of some of these allergies, but it's really a much smaller component than the um, things that they're exposed to in the environment. So when we test a dog and actually do allergy testing, we're testing for almost 75 different things. So no one can look at your pet and be like, oh, that's what they're allergic to. Um, so what we're gonna do is we may, we may or may not do allergy testing. Um, um, there's many um, things that we can do. We have such great medications now for uh, itching and the secondary infections that they have. And what we're gonna try to do is get the itch under control, uh, get the infection under control, and then help you come up with some plans that you can do at home so that you can lengthen the amount of time between you're gonna need to come back in here or when your pet is suffering. So um, there's some great new drugs that we have available to us. One of my dogs is on an injectable once a month and another one is on a pill once a day. So um, in addition, topical bathing is so important. So uh, there really is a fair amount that goes into it. We just need to calm down, take some time to figure out what's going on and make a good plan. All right, that kind of goes into my next question. What kind of treatments or products are available to do re to reduce my pet's itchiness? Yeah, so again, we're gonna always try to rule out parasites first, mites and fleas. Um, and then after that, we're gonna look into secondary infections or even primary infections of yeast or bacteria as being causes. Those are both itchy. Um, yeast is specifically very itchy, but so is uh, bacteria. Uh, so we need to, you know, we may wanna do some scrapings of the skin around the nails or the ears to determine what type of um, uh, infection that we have because we're going to treat specifically to that um, and then in addition we're going to start treating for the itch so the symptoms that they have if we just treated the symptoms the itch and we didn't treat the infection we will never get things under control so it's unfortunately a combination we have to go after both of them um, but we now have some great medications um, when I first started practicing a long time ago we didn't have these um, but we now have a pill um, that is great, it just basically stops the, um, the itch response. And we also have an injectable uh, once a month medication, uh, injectable that's specifically for um, the immune modulating. So it's helping to stop the response that we have to things that we're allergic to. So these things are, are very safe when used um, carefully. Uh, we're gonna watch your dog, you know, and, and use the least amount we can always use. But, um, you know, seasonally, some dogs are really suffering and we don't want them suffering. Last question. What kind of issues can arise if my pet's itchiness is not promptly treated? Well, first of all, I think an itchy pet is suffering. Um, we can imagine our own selves if we get itchy skin for whatever reason, whether we get bites or um, hives or, you know, we have skin allergies ourselves. Um, that's really unpleasant. So I think we want to alleviate the suffering, but also if they really dig it themselves, they can create like much worse infections and, um, and hot spots, which are kind of awful too. Um, so we want to stay on top of things so they don't suffer. We keep the infections under control and, uh, and you can, and, and then you'll see less of us too. So uh, we want to stay on top of things. So if you have any other questions about itchiness or allergies, um, we really enjoy spending a lot of time explaining things and working with you as a partner to make sure your dog and cat have the best care they need. Give us a call at the Drake Center.